You're listening to KEDL Rock Radio, the true metal radio show. Yeah. Come on, Scotty. Come on, Scotty. Welcome back to the True Metal Radio Show. Scott, the winner, is now distributing the shots Mm -hmm. uh, after he spun the wheel of alcohol poisoning. Thank you, sir. And he landed on Blackberry. He, as the winner, does not have to drink the shots. We will find out in a moment if he is a man or a regular winner. I like my shots chilled. These these are not chilled. He just said something else. (laughs) Hey, it's a doctor's order. Dr. McGillicuddy's. Dr. McGillicuddy's oh, black, uh, blackberry, it's blackberry whiskey. Whiskey. Wow, I'll tell you what, it's it already <clears throat> smells ten times better than that throw up vodka we always do. I don't oh, know if this is punishment yeah. or if this is uh, you Wait know, a, a gift. Second. No, it's not. It's oh. not any better. I just got We're a good whiff. Yeah, it's not. Uh, no, 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 guys. All right. No, no, no. Time for a so we, okay. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Love you, gentlemen. Cheers, bros. Good people. Uh, good people. Love you. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's, like, it's definitely medicinal. That's for sure. Yeah. It's not any better. Oh my god. Cough medicine. It was oh very whiskey. Like uh, what you preserved dead does, animals. Did somebody there. buy this? So I'm literally you go, hey, but you got the, the Dr. You, McGillicuddy's you, you got Dr. McGillicuddy's uh blackberry whiskey. <laughs> What are we going to mix that with? But mix it with what? Well, it's Irish, obviously. So how back? It'll it mix in? with the vomit when it's coming back up. It just yeah. did a little bit. I got a little chunk of fruity pebble, I think, in that one. What the fuck is it? <sighs> well, hey, we've got some uh, true metal events coming up to talk about. And Chad, I think you're going to be pleased. Remember when I mentioned that ACDC were planning a comeback tour? <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, this story has nothing to do with that rumor. Uh, oh. yeah, 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 I'm sure it does. Sorry. Doesn't. Who uh, is? Earlier this week, though, a massive ACDC tribute took place along a six-mile stretch of highway in Perth, Australia, honoring the late singer Bon Scott, who died 40 years ago at age 33, uh, from drinking uh, none other than blackberry whiskey. That'll do it. (laughs) They temporarily renamed the Canning Highway as the Highway to Hell. 150,000 people lined the streets and partied as flatbed trucks with bands uh, stopped Along the route and played entire ACDC songs. So that's that really bad ass, dude. Yeah. They took their sweet time. 150,000. And only about 000. 25 people died in, of, you know, choking <laughs> on their own vomit that. <laughs> this wow. is the reason they ran out of toilet paper. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right there. You know what? Drinking I, I, I see that. You know, honestly, I, I really see why you have such a big turnout like that. Yeah. I mean, the way he went into those burning buildings saving those children. <laughs> And, and dying such a heroic death. It is. You know? It's incredible. I just, I, it's hard it's, for me to believe the story. It's so it is, amazing. It's, it's almost like it's, it's not real, but it, I mean, he was like Superman. And yeah. And for that, God love him. We thank him. Yeah. We do. It's phenomenal. Amazing. Here's, here's the fucking Scott. Bon Scott. Yeah. Man, yeah. the sexiest man, front man, and music. Last year, Max and Igor tell. Cavalera toured your. What, 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 what the fuck what? were you laughing about? I'm laughing at your sexiest uh, frontman comment. Dude was comment. sexy. Okay. He was sexy. He had sex appeal, dude. He was just even as a dude, I can tell you that dude was. My God, I got had had some shit going. Man. I guess he's sexy for an Australian. I could have gone my whole life without knowing that. I agree. I'm on. I'm yeah. I'm with like you. A, uh, yeah. When he got you know who can drink TMI. hairspray and both of you, and he got who can drink <laughs> both of you, hairspray and rubbing use. alcohol and still walk the next day. He's got my, my got my respect. <laughs> That's right. He's got my man badge. Drunk ass motherfucker. <laughs> Chad, you got a joke for us? I actually have a great joke. Do you? Oh, hold on. I got some. I got some. Uh, you guys want to hear a joke? I, didn't even, I wasn't even on the spot that? for this. No, but that's I got great. One. You want one? Right, here we go. Oh, oh. All right, fellas. Joke of the day. All right, ladies. Joke line of up. the day. Line up. It's a little winded, but here we go. Three old guys, man. They're sitting in the bar having a drink, and they're all bitching about their battle axes, right? Their old broads, how they are, and shit like that. How they're always on their ass every time they get back from drinking. Finally, one of them pipes up and goes, "You know what? God damn it! You know what we need to do? When we get home tonight." Fuck it. We're gonna do exactly what them crazy broads tells us to do. Blow their fucking mind. They're like, all right, let's do it. They get a little drunk, you know, and they all go home. Next night, they come back to the bar, and they're all sitting there. 
All of a sudden the one guy goes, God damn, I did exactly what my wife said, dude. It was great. I went home just like you guys said to do. And I, when I came home, the door slipped out of my hand. That screen door came and, and just slammed bigger than shit. She goes, why don't you just, just tear the fucking thing off its hinges? Man, I pulled and took, took me 30 goddamn minutes, but I pulled that son of a bitch off the hinges. I goes, ah, that's, that's nothing. I was washing out my drink trying to get me some water. The glass slipped into the goddamn sink and it shattered. And she's like, why don't you just break every fucking dish in the house? It took me about 20 minutes, but I broke every motherfucker <laughs> in the house. <laughs> then all of a sudden, show her. Yeah, and then the third guy goes, well, that ain't nothing. I snuck up in, upstairs, old lady's in the bed, climbed inside there. I reached my hand right up her leg. I slid it right between her legs. She says, cut that out. Have you ever seen one of these bitches up? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> My God, he went clamming. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> I know we mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again since we're talking about true metal events. Last year, Max and Igor Cavalera toured Europe playing their old Sepultura albums, Beneath the Remains from 1989 and Arise from 1991. This year, they're bringing that show to the U.S. They're calling the show Return Beneath Arise. I guess because they don't speak English. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, the current well, Sepultura... We watched the video a while ago, so there you it's go. It's true. Uh, meanwhile, the current Sepultura lineup with Andreas Kisser and Paulo Jr. and Eloy Casagrande, phenomenal drummer, and Derek Green, great vocalist, uh, they're still touring with their album Quadra, the new one. That's Good really... I, I feel like it's a badass comeback I album for so them. Too, man. It's you know? a much better record. It's yes. a fantastic album. Uh, they're also releasing a deluxe re edition of Beneath the Remains in a couple of months uh, under the name Sepultura, obviously, because that's what it is. So uh, while the actual uh, band Sepultura is going to be playing their new album Quadra that they're touring on, Max and Igor will be touring on the Beneath the Remain stuff, I guess. So that'll be something to see. You go to both shows; they're both going to be good. And that's the go first time. Both. That's go the to, first time in ten go years. Go to two. <laughs> it's the first time shit, longer than ten years that I've recommended going to a Sepultura show. No shit. Yeah. I've been but pretty after, mean to them. After that, the new release is like, hey, hey man, this actually has some yeah, balls. Yeah, it's got a little meat on it. I really do like it. It's got Deets Nuts. By the way. Oh, yeah, our sponsor, Deets Nuts, which are not nuts Holy at all. jeez. They are bite-sized uh, balls. Of, they're, yeah. they're, they're Slim Jims. Jeez. Cut up into pieces. It smells like I put mustard on my balls. It smells like and dog I food. And I literally... Walked around for about a good six hours and then went. <laughs> yeah, that Chad has just I fallen know, over. Man, that went nowhere. Really, just fell I over didn't, behind I didn't the really bed. Smell mustard on them at all? The, no, no I'm, I'm not saying. I'm I'm just saying it's like mustard you lingers had up, mustard. Greg mixed goes over there. Your, Greg goes over there just he's, eating them. He's, he's chopping them down. He he's got a mouthful of these nuts. things. He's got a mouthful of these nuts. Bigger these nuts. If those nuts had a bigger bag, I'd be eating more of them too. Well, well, you, well, they're, you're, they're Slim Jims. What are you saying over there, trying, Scotty? I, I don't know why they call them nuts. Anything. They're Slim Jims. That is the confusing pieces. part about this. This is yeah. why I wanted to see Chad open the bag, because I was not convinced that we weren't being pranked. Yeah. You know, no first shit. of all, it's not often we get anybody that's willing to have their product on this show intentionally. I feel like we're being... It's, this it's, is a joke to begin it's with. It's made from turkey balls. That's why. Testicles? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, gobble, gobble, it, it, Greg. It, it gobble. Hey, there you go. Gobble, oh, gobble. Oh, oh, oh. Eats nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Brought to you. <laughs> hey, I made, made, a, made a funny. Gobble, gobble. Eats nuts. <laughs> uh, it's been three long years oh, since. I, thought, I, thought I was going to uh, say this segment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah this segment's yeah, this been segment going. About three long years. It's been the three years the since basket. the new wave of thrash metal badasses, <laughs> Havoc, they have released good. an album. I love that band. I think a lot of. It's kind of a controversial band because they're so they're so good at what they do and and I enjoy it so much. Us old folks enjoy these young people playing this. Hey, old, whippers, neighbors. Yeah, it pisses off other metal fans. I think like they're they're done with havoc. They're like, would you just stop? We know that you're really good. Just stop. So they did. They stopped for about three years and uh, they've been touring around and they've uh, released an album now. So that's that's all uh, 
Dash Silence is coming to a change now. Uh, they're releasing a new album called V. It's going to feature a new bass player, as a matter of fact. Um, there's a new single. Just came out, even though the album's not out yet. We've got a single. It's been released hey, to the world. It's not great. just us. Did you say V? So are they going to be v? doing? Is it the same yeah. same thrash that they were doing when they when they started when they changed out their first album? Yes, but they're they're developing, man. They're getting more technical. I think uh, they're getting more sophisticated. Uh, there's more subtlety. Uh, it is still in that same heart. You still have that mm. same heart of thrash, but I think we're. It's very throwback to it the eighties thrash. A hundred percent. And it, their initial stuff when they first came out on the scene, their very it first music not. video that we saw. We, it was hard to believe that kids that age were even interested in playing that, you know. And it's such a it, they just went straight to '80s thrash, and you're like, "Wow, that's crazy." Well, uh, you want to hear? I mean, these guys are really talented. They can play whatever they want. Is yeah. it? Did you say it was V? Yes, V. The letter V, like, like visitor, in, like V in, for vendetta or vagina. Correct. Or vagina. V for vagina. Correct. Like yeah, that's no. V, and that's a read between the lines, Mister. Okay. That'd be the German V. Read between. That's uh, for you, Dave. From their 2020 album, V. Your favorite. This is Havoc. Stephen King. With, oh, reference. that's a terrible, terrible. Venereal. Read between no, the lines, Oh, my Dave. God. It was horrible. Stomp, stomp, stomp. That was the remake. It's doo-doo. Oh, my God. It was trash. I, could, I don't know why I had to do it. I had to do it. Stomp, I don't know. It was horrible. Stomp, stomp, stomp. V for. From their 2020 album, V. This is Havoc with Phantom Force. <laughs> 